Oh, Sierra. Hey, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. It's uh, it's Ryan from R and Music. It's Saturday, so it's vlog time. Angela and Aiden. Sorry. Angela and Nicholas. Aiden's with me. Hey. <laughs> Angela and Nicholas are on their way to Austin, Texas, to meet her parents and pick up her sister. Her sister's coming for a visit with her son and. Uh, me and Aiden gotta take Stair Bear to the vet because she's having some problems with her ears, her ears, and her eyeball. Don't eat the plant. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take Sarah to the vet. Should be an exciting morning. I'm so Sorry. excited. Come uh, along with us. Don't, don't look Oh, you're, you're trapping me, Sarah Bear. Uh, she's like, I don't care, it's fine. All right, we're gonna go to the vet. We'll see y'all later. Sarah's super comfortable. Sarah. She's like, I'm fine. I'm fine, Dad. <laughs> Aiden's got me. <laughs> Put him down. I don't work here, but I'll take you back there. I'll take you back here. So, I'm not even no. But we get rid of all of you and get a horse. All right, so she had basically an ear infection. Chronic, she's had it for a while, but they say it's caused by allergies. Could be food allergy, could be grass allergy, could be pollen, just like humans are allergic to all kinds of things. Our dogs, so yeah, so they gave her a steroid shot and they gave her some ear cleaner and they gave her some antibiotics and we have a bunch of medicine to take home every single day for 30 days she's gonna get antibiotics and steroids and we got an ear cleaner that we got to put in her ear so excited totally you totally not worth it Sarah Sarah you're more worth it than the other dogs though maybe maybe Sarah <laughs> she's all excited now we're gonna go grab some breakfast I guess all right you just pet Sarah and how uh, I wanna eat. eat. It's been quite a busy Saturday at RNA Music. <laughs> I expected to shoot some videos, more playing videos, more discussion videos, uh, edit some video, but I didn't <clears throat> because I've had customers here pretty much all day. One of our regulars coming in asking me about EMG pickups, so I busted out some of my EMG equipped guitars and we sat down and we played hey this is the 8185 this is 5766 you know uh, this is the headset kind of how they compare and respond and all that so we had a nice discussion and play test of these different guitars for him so he could figure out which set of EMGs he wants to buy so we did that and then uh, you know kind of customers in and out all day some some quite chatty so, so we uh, you know has been great discussions today, um, but not enough time for me to really film anything in particular. So I'm gonna film some right now for you guys. Like, pretending like I did it earlier, but I didn't do it earlier, I'm doing it right now. Cause it's closing time. Actually, we're 15 minutes after closing time. I need to go home, check on Aiden and the dogs and Sarah and see how she's doing. She threw up right before I left to come to work. She up chucked and I'm like, oh man, so I don't know if the antibiotics and steroids I fed her about 45 minutes before that were wasted. I'm afraid they might have been. But I think she was outside. I think she ate some grass, too. There's some grass in her. Uh, you don't want to know. All right, so I need to go check on her. But let's, let's talk about something else. I brought my uh, custom shop Washburn Paduke Top Idol with me today for some reason and I have forgotten why. Let me get my water out of the way. I don't know if I was going to restring it or I was going to clean it. I think it needs to be... I got some dots in there. I might, I might clean it real quick. Lovely guy that I know, Fred Koalo, former guitar tech for Zach Wilde, Megadeth. You know, shine down. A few bands you might have heard of. <laughs> 
Uh, he's wonderful. He told me to use on a top, a guitar top like this, or like your Warwick bass or something like that. Howard Feed and Wax Wood Polish and Conditioner. This is uh, Freddie's suggestion for cleaning the top on this guy. Fred actually worked for Boogie Street Guitars, and all the guitars that came in, most of them, he did the setup on and tweak and final whatever before they got sent out to customers. So I couldn't think of anybody better than Fred to ask. You know, and the dude's a professional guitar tech for huge bands, so I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. I've used this before, so I think I may give it a quick little coat of that. I could, it's got some spots where something got on it. Maybe that's what I brought it for, I think. I, or I was going to talk about how much I love abalone inlays. You know, I have several guitars with abalone. I Man, I just really love, I really love the look <laughs> of abalone blocks. So, I don't know what I was going to do with this. But I may give it a quick, a quick wipe down, I think, probably before I go home. There's the headset equipped LTD of mine. There's my Explorer. I brought my Gibson Explorer today because I was going to do a video, uh, I guess, talking about Gibson. I was going to respond, respond to a comment that I got. Somebody left me kind of a sassy comment <laughs> about one of our uh, recent FAQ or Ask RNA videos where we were kind of like, hey, calling Gibson out on some stuff. And that they did not like that video. And they left us a nasty comment about it. I was going to respond to that. I don't normally do that. You know, it's like re reading, you know, insults or whatever. But I thought, I think this guy's a little bit off base. And reading everyone else's comments, you know, it's kind of obvious. It's like, I don't think most people agree with you. This is your opinion. But I was going to respond to it. And, you know, people were like, Everybody who hates Gibson just can't afford a Gibson. You probably you weren't gonna buy one anyway, so why are you complaining? Her 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 to der. <laughs> and I own two Gibsons. So screw that. I own two Gibsons. And I've bought plenty of guitars. I could buy another Gibson if I want. I bought one this last spring. So I think I think people have a right to their opinion. You know, if it's given reasonably respect of, respectably, I mean, you could kind of crack a joke with it. That's that's my personality. I may critique something, but I'm going to crack a joke because I like to laugh. You know, I, I, I think you're allowed. I think you are allowed to critique a business or a corporation, especially a publicly held company. I think you're allowed to question their decisions. I think that's okay. And I think it's okay to like a physical piece of product, a piece of wood and metal, like my two Gibsons that I own, and I like those specific instruments. I'm not getting rid of them because I think some corporate managers somewhere are making some decisions that aren't well thought out. I think it's okay. It's okay to talk about that. It's okay to talk about that. So I might make, I was going to make that video today, but I did not have time. 
I did not have time, so I guess I'm not going to do that video. But right now I need to go home, and I think I'm probably going to take all these guitars. I think I'm going to take the Explorer back with me and my Les Paul back home with me. Maybe I'll do... I probably won't film that actual video video at home, but there'll be more of a vlog video today at the house. So I will see you guys in a little while. i got to pack up my laptop, my computer, my iPad, my, my guitars, and I'm going to head back to the house. See y'all soon. Sierra, what you doing? What you doing? Why are you hiding under Nicholas's bed? Why are you hiding under Nicholas's bed? He has bases everywhere in his room. Huh? Okay. Is that your safe spot? <laughs> There's a bed frame I built. Plywood and two by sixes. And uh, that's where Sarah's safe place is. She likes to hide under there. She feels safe. She's feeling better. We have to give her some medicine in a couple hours. About 10 o'clock, we're going to give her some more medicine. Hopefully she keeps it all down. What an exciting day.